Yo, what's up guys, Cody here, back at a new video, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about devil fruits. And not just devil fruits, mainly about their trading values. Nowadays, trading has been one of the most effective ways to get yourself a really good devil fruit, or a free game pass, or maybe even some permanent devil fruits. So, a lot of people are trying to trade, but are failing to make profit, or are failing to do really, really good trades, because they do not know the value of fruits, they do not know the demand of the fruits and stuff like that so in today's video we're going to be ranking all the devil fruits into three main tiers by doing this every one of you guys should understand the value of the devil fruits and also what do you need to trade them for and stuff like that i will explain everything in the video so i think it is a must for you guys to watch till the end and also after watching this video i would suggest you guys to go watch my taking w trades for 10 minutes video and by watching this video you guys will learn how to actually trade in the game and you will also learn how to make a lot of profit really really easily so yeah after this video make sure to watch Watch this one okay so i think without wasting any more time let's move on into the tier list so here we are in the tier list and as you guys can see the tiers we have bad medium and high all the devil fruits down here are ranked in a specific order going from the cheapest devil fruit kilo to the expensivest devil fruit leopard and we will be ranking them in the according tiers as i already explained so i think without wasting any more time let's get right into it so first let's get the boring stuff out of the way if you guys are trying to trade your kilo your spin your chop or all the devil fruits which are in the first layer are basically useless nobody wants them you cannot make a single profit off the devil fruits which are in the first line so without wasting my time and without wasting your time i'm going to be ranking these in the bad tier so all of these go here bomb smoke spike flame falcon ice sand dark revive so this was the first layer which i was talking about then we have devil fruits like diamond light love rubber barrier magma and also door these seven devil fruits are used as add-ons to explain you guys what an add-on is that basically refers to the trading system so in blocks fruits when you are trading there is a 40 percent value difference so basically if somebody has put in a leopard fruit which is worth 5 million if you give him something lower than a 2 million you cannot accept that trade it will say the value difference is too low add something and here is where these devil fruits come in handy because these ones have some pretty good value like 850k 900k so they increase the value a lot and you can use them but still they do not have any value in the trade so i think i'm going to be making a new tier for these and putting them above the bad tier so give me a second so here is the new tier the add-ons tier we're going to be putting the diamond light love rubber barrier magma and door into this tier these ones have no value but can be used in the trading system to actually trade so keeping these devil fruits is actually worth it then moving on into the next tier we have the medium tier now we are getting into the devil fruits which you can actually trade for profit and this tier will include the quake fruit buddha fruit string fruit phoenix fruit rumble fruit paw fruit gravity fruit shadow fruit and the control fruit these nine devil fruits will go into the medium tier these are the fruits which you can trade for a lot of profit and eventually make up to the high tier devil fruits so first let's rank all of these and then we figure out what's up so the highest medium tier devil fruit that we have is the shadow fruit shadow has the most value in the medium fruits and can basically afford any of the other fruits in the medium tier at second we have the buddha fruit despite its value its value is only 1.2 million but it can even trade up to a shadow fruit if the other person really wants it so yeah it is very very op then the next one we have 
after these is the rumble fruit rumble fruit also has a really good value it is almost really close to the value of buddha since it's really good for stunning people and a really good devil fruit for pvp so it comes at the third spot then at number four we have the control fruit due to its price the noobs think that it is worth a lot because it's worth 3.2 million so people might even give you a shadow fruit or might even give you a rumble or buddha or even phoenix and paw together or stuff like that you know so that's why this fruit has to be up at the fourth spot then after that we have the phoenix fruit this one has good demand you know what i will put phoenix fruit even higher than the control fruit because everybody just wants these four fruits from the medium tier and nothing else so yeah it has more trading value if you ask me then next we are going to be putting the gravity fruit due to its value basically that's why then we have the paw fruit then we have the string fruit and then we have the quake fruit like the bottom five fruits that i'm talking about right here are basically just to fool other players and just make profit you know like if you are trading your buddha you can add like a control to it and get like a venom or a soul or you could even do like a shadow plus buddha for a dragon fruit and stuff like that you know this is how you trade in this game and it is quite confusing if you ask me but once you get the hang of it it's really really easy and you can just make profit super super easily then we have the high tier and all the devil fruits which are down here are in the high tier so now let's start to rank them so the highest valued devil fruit in the game is the leopard fruit which is the newest addition to the game this devil fruit can afford basically all of these devil fruits down here and if we talk about the good devil fruits that it can afford it can do it can afford all four of these at once or if you have double capacity, it can even get two does plus one dragon or two does plus one soul and stuff like that. So basically, the leopard fruit can afford all four of the high tier devil fruits really, really easily. So moving on into the second highest value devil fruit in the game, and that is the doe fruit. This one is a really good one and basically can afford like a dragon plus a soul or a dragon plus venom. Or if you want to make it simple, a venom plus soul so yeah it is a very good devil fruit and a really really good devil fruit to pvp with as well then moving on into the next one at number three we have the dragon fruit so this fruit is actually very very good and um can get you a lot of profit in my opinion so for example in a trade i made the other day i traded my doe and my dragon for a leopard fruit so the other person was like he's giving me the two best fruits in the game why should i not accept this and he just accepted it you know and then i traded my leopard fruit for a lot of profit than what I actually paid for. Moving on into the next fruit, we have the Twin Brothers, the Venom Fruit and the Soul Fruit. Both of these Devil Fruits have the exact same value, but certain days one goes up and certain days one goes down. So for example, nowadays Venom is a bit more higher than Soul, so somebody may give you Soul and Phoenix for Venom, and the other days, in like a few days, Soul will go up and people will give you Venom plus Phoenix for Soul. So that's how these Devil Fruits are going to be ranked. So they are basically the same value and both are really good for trading so yeah that basically concludes the trading video J just to go through it one more time i'm just gonna explain really really fast all the devil fruits in the bad tier are useless no point in having these literally useless in the add-on section these ones are actually useful and can be added into the trade to make up the trade value super super simple then next we have the medium tier these devil fruits are the one which can get you up to the high tier devil fruits you can trade two of these three of these at once and get a pretty good profitable trade and lastly we have the high tier devil fruits even one of these devil fruits can afford every single devil fruit in the game so for example if you have a soul fruit you can get any of these devil fruits down here it's up to you whichever you want you can get it that's how much value these ones actually hold so that basically concludes the tier list if you guys learned something or enjoyed the video make sure to hit that like button and if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button let's try to get to 18,000 subscribers and um yeah don't forget to watch the video which i said in the intro that is a very useful video for you guys so go watch that and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace